I'm back again playing solo, but this time I don't really have any blueprints, so it's gonna be interesting. Hmm. Dome. This area seems interesting, like L9, L8. As soon as I spawned in, I made my way to Outpost to get myself a couple of bags so I can actually respawn there whenever I die. And also do a quest to get myself a hatchet. Okay, I'm gonna go recycle for some metals so I can actually get a crossbow. I might be able to get a nail gun too. Okay, now I can craft a nail gun as well. Actually got a nice pick and that's really good. Damn, bro. Three wolves. I placed my shelter next to airfield, but I don't really have a base location yet. I do have some good tools and I can easily get some farm, but without the base location, there isn't really much I can do. Now I did place my shelter next to an empty cave, but the cave was so deep that I just couldn't be asked to build in there. It's just not that I now realize why it's not taken. I've just wasted what seems like to be over 20 minutes. Okay, bed part what my area I don't I don't exactly see any nodes I don't know how that's gonna work out for me Also, Shino Crate did drop at Airfield. I might be able to grab it. Like, not grab the crate, but grab like a kit or something. This might be a stupid risk. But uh, I'm gonna try anyways. I might be able to get this free crate.
Fuck. No. If only I actually had more nails. Yeah, I wouldn't expect him to take bows. I didn't take my nail gun. And my crossbow. Actually, I do need these bows. Could, could be useful. I'm gonna go depot. Since I built right next to a compound, my best option was to go farm some stone and try to upgrade my base as much as possible before I log off. Okay, now I'm gonna honeycomb the base, make a couple of metal double doors, and then I think we should be fine. Please, 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 please. I don't listen. I have zero, zero sulfur. Oh, I have a hundred. I have hundred sulfur. I have hundred sulfur. Okay. Thank you, thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. Now, honestly, I have no clue who these guys are. I've never heard their voice or even seen where they came from, so I don't know where they live. He actually left a python. What a legend, bro. Now, since I don't have any BPs, a python is actually a huge thing, especially the pistol ammo. Could either do like one run to airfield or just seal the bunker and log off because I'm really tired. It is getting really late. I want to be able to actually join when a lot of people are on. Okay. Not turret. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. So, that was an okay run. I didn't exactly recycle, but the turret is actually pretty decent, I guess. And after doing that one run to airfield, I sealed the bunker just to make sure and went off. Well, of course, I joined at night time, and I don't seem to be raided. Hmm. 
That's actually a really big base that I built next to, so I might get raided, but I think it's okay. Who online raids anymore, so if I stay online, they won't raid me. That's how Rust is nowadays. That rev is actually decent. I'm gonna craft myself a revolver. Okay, no boxes on top. Oh, there's a dead body right there. Fuck, I have no space. I gotta go though before he comes back. I safely made it back to base with a semi rifle. Now, a semi rifle, 556, and meds are actually crucial BPs for this wipe and future wipes. All I gotta do is just get enough scrap to research them and make a tier 2, and then I'm basically set. Okay, my furnaces are not running, but I gotta go get some metal for that. I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna actually go out and try to get some farm, since I do have like three ice specs. I'm actually finding a lot of cloth in this area. I don't know why. I'm like, I don't need to recycle for cloth. I just find them on the ground. Oh, there's just more nodes. It's baiting me. I'm gonna get this one metal node and I'm gonna go back to base. Bro, come on. Only trying to farm some wood, you know. I honestly have no clue what I'm building, but I'm building something. But the problem is that compound is right next to my base and my base is like right there. I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with them. I think it's best if I offer to farm them um, sulfur for an alliance. Actually, I don't think I have seen them. So, oh, another satchel. I'm getting lucky with these satchels. Okay, that's some good um, farm. Oh, 
Oh, there's a guy here. Fuck. That guy is so garbage. Honestly, I'm not really getting that much PvP at this point, but hopefully everything will turn around soon. I didn't even see him. I had a feeling that someone was camping, I just wasn't... I, I didn't even see him. Okay, Shinnok right drop at the um, airfield. Yeah, the chainsaw. And a nice pick. Both are really great. Actually need that sewing kits. It's crazy that I didn't get any sewing kits until now. Come on, man, please. I'm just solo, please, bro. Right, man, come here. Thank you, thank you. I'm just, I'm just still, like, I'm just still like your top and stuff, but you can't do the rest of it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, bro. Now the clan that lives right next to me seems kind of nice, but now they are building a cloth farm base which is not good for me, because that base is very close to mine and they can easily roof camp me from that. Bro, he took my sewing kits, man, I need the sewing kits. I think the name Waffle just makes me look like a child or like a noob, because since I've had the name Waffle, there has been so many nice people, like I've met so many actually genuine nice people. Another satchel, bro. <laughs> what? What the fuck? I've gotten three satchels. The amount of components that I have is actually insane. So the same on this side as well. Cause I'm gonna add like maybe one layer of honeycomb, like one more layer of honeycomb, and then oil refinery will go here. So that should work out. I'm actually gonna stay here for the whole night. Oh, never mind, never mind. I'm actually gonna go back to base now. 
Okay, I'm actually gonna go back to base now. I don't trust this. I don't want to go too close to Oxen. I don't want to get too close with them. But I am in the open. Supply drop. Locker. And the molly. Now, honestly, I would go with a semi. But I feel like I can't really do much right now. Oh. blue card is actually huge I don't know why he had it and he didn't use it but it's actually good for airfield What the fuck? How did- how? Maybe like here. I hope that's a turret. I hope that's a turret and not a person. Not bad. I mean, a C4, honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna use it, but I'm gonna take it anyways. Was I getting camped?
They even had a ladder, so they were ready. Okay, I do have to go farm some metal. I'm like 20, I have like 20 metal, I believe. Oh yeah, I need to reconnect these. Now, since I have a lot of components, I can go recycle out oxums. But taking all the components in one run is a stupid risk that I shouldn't take. Since I do live right next to it, it shouldn't be a problem. Because I'm gonna take those. Oh, come on. Oh, what fuck with you? You know, N7 tried trading us. And we actually won. They destroyed our whole roof, you know? With four rockets. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now, this guy lives right next to me. I actually oh, encountered him only twice, but all he does is just I mess with a clan that lives at you know? N7, which is right next to both of us. I don't know where that mp5 went but i'm glad he didn't actually come in and now with all that scrap i can get myself to garage door and with the garage door i can fortify my base and make it a lot stronger i'm just trying to recycle bro That's actually a really good peak. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, come on. Where, where could he have gone? There's no way he went that far. He has to be somewhere here. I'm gonna find him, or I'm just gonna find his base. Oh! I think that's him. Yes, that's basically everything I had, and an extra semi. Extra two semis? Why did he have two semis on him? I've seen him a couple of times, but I don't know where he lives, so... Hmm. I actually love this base. It's so small, it's so easy to get in and out. And it's actually pretty strong because it's a bunker. Now I was actually planning to go off, but before I went off I wanted to get myself some stone so I can have some farm tomorrow and have enough upkeep for tonight. Did I also get some wood before I go off? I just might. Seven K wood should be good enough for a while. Man, please, please, why? I just started, man. Please. Take the ammo. I feel bad, bro. I really do feel bad. I should have given him med. I'm like too far right now. <laughs> I 
Got one Garjo right there. Now this one, I don't know if I should put it inside the bunker or here or here. Well, I'm not raided. Insane aim by that guy. What if I go do airfield? I'm pretty sure I have a key card. Shoot. I think that's all. It wasn't like a good run, but it was an okay run. Unlucky for me, I just died to one of the clan members that lives next to me. But honestly, I'm not scared to get raided. That's actually what I want. God, I can't even see them. And surprising enough, I actually haven't seen them leave their main base for once. Or they haven't even roof camped on it. For some odd reason, they always stay in this farm base. What if I raid their farm base? Well, I don't know how I'm gonna actually mess with them, but it seems like there are only two online right now. Like at the moment. So I could actually try something. Okay, it may not be worth raiding that because I don't think there is a loot room inside it. I think they just transfer it back to their main base, which is right next to that. And the second I start raiding them, well, at least raiding this base, if they are online, which they are right now, I see a guy doing some random shit inside it. Now I do want to raid that farm base, but if I do, I'm just going to end up getting roof camp from their main base. And I don't want to offline them because I do want to mess with them and I see no point in offline in the farm base. Then if I do online them, 
the chances of me winning as a solo are too low. Maybe, maybe you should have stuck together. Nah. And now this group DBI is gonna be a different kind of story. I'm so close to fucking outpost. Okay, crazy part here, if I didn't win this fight, I would have left the server because I'm not getting the PvP I want. For some reason, there's a lot of action going on right now. I'm gonna go back to base, F1, and then spawn in my bag, get a stash, and then see what I can do with that little prototype. 17. Okay, um... Got almost a row of semis. Damn, bro. Can you please help me to fucking give up, man? I don't have a fucking bed here, man. Where is the uh, nail gun, bro? I just peacefully go to home, please. Help me, man. I'm here. Just peacefully. Shinnick is gonna drop. I gotta go. Come on. What the fuck? I gotta go. 
Get a stack of ammo. Where's the meds at? It dropped. Okay, it dropped. It dropped. It dropped. I hope I'm the first one there. Let's go in. Now I tried to be as fast as possible and get to Chinook first, but unfortunately as soon as I entered airfield I heard some footsteps. I just heard someone. Oh fuck. Well, I'm not the first one there, so I don't think it should be taken as semi. I'm just gonna take this prototype. See how it plays out. Oh, I should have gotten nades. made it back Ooh, okay i gotta go back though gotta go back there i think i know who they are i think it's the guys that was roof camping when i was recycling at supermarket some of you might have guessed it, it was dbi they live right next to airfield and i think that was the three guys that i saw earlier that is such a scuffed spot Oh, there's a lot of dead bodies. They died a bunch of times. Damn, they actually died a bunch. That guy is Garbo. Oh, that's nice. Oh no! <laughs> Come on now! Now this whole time DBI was camping me, but the problem is there's one guy camping me from the other tower so I can't really leave. They're just gonna keep coming back until I die. Just getting smart. 
more. I'm running faster, but the world's getting farther. I never thought I'd make it this far without a moment of rest. Oh shit Who, Who's the pussy now bro? 3v1 grenades Camping tower, camping door Yeah, no meds <laughs> I have a lot of meds Oh you suck bro I have a lot of meds That's fucking crazy bro That was insane. That, those guys are so clueless. They do be going crazy sometimes. Uh, I gotta organize all of these though. First run is done. I'm actually keeping the tech trash for more solar panels. So I can actually set up the solar, I mean, the turret. Solar panel, the root combiner. Forgot to get the wire. Get a. Oh, I can't get the chainsaw, not enough. I actually don't have much farm, and I haven't really been able to farm much metal since I barely find anything. Well, now the base is looking a bit nicer. Got red lights right there. We got lights inside. Just gotta finish doing the honeycomb. Actually, with my shots there, I saw it good and did bad. Okay, so that works. And that could work. Could see for it and then use satchel on it but it is possible that there is nothing inside it as well it is going to take a little bit longer for it to decay and i have to go in a couple of minutes so it's 8 hp
Tell you what, this isn't looking up. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. I gotta explore more from that uh, scientist. Okay, now I gotta recycle one satchel so I can actually get a bean can. Oh, that's a supply signal. Okay. I don't know what place there is here for a supply signal to be dropped. It's this place. Yeah, you just open the door. There's two of them. There's three of them, bro. Well, at least I got an MP5 out of it. I got an airdrop. I mean, it was with 3v1. And one guy was like on a power line and I was like right next to their base so it wasn't worth it for me at all. I probably should metal that up. I don't remember the last time I got raided now. This is actually crazy because I'm trying to get raided. Like I roof camp clans with AKs, like I roof camp them with AK or even LMG, I don't get raided. It just doesn't happen anymore. Fuck me, bro. Fuck me. Fuck you. That was such an easy kill, but my cat is like so annoying right now. I just can't. I can't do anything. Gotta go. I'm thinking about logging up for the web. I wanted to go to the one last airdrop that I saw.
I just wanna say that we're so close to 10k subs and it would really mean a lot if you subscribe. And you might be able to tell from my voice but I'm actually quite sick while editing this video. Although, thank you everyone for watching, but 4 is out.